What's going on you guys, it's your boy Redstone9x here, welcome back to another command block tutorial video. Now today, I'm going to be showing you how to do particle commands in Minecraft. And, it's going to be about mostly like how you can get particles to like, float around you, and also how you can actually have particles run in a specific location if you type in the coordinates, so you can make it look like it came from a block. So, before we get into this, as always, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe, and turn on notifications so you won't miss a video. Apart from that guys, let's begin today's video. Okay guys, so I have made this little, um, sh particle showcase thing to show you the different particles that you can put on yourself, and then later, after I do that, I'm going to show you how you can, um, do this sort of thing, which you can see that that this command is spawning these particles in this one spot. But I'll show you how to do that later. So yeah, welcome to the particle showcase. Let's begin. Now these are the many um particles that I chose for this video. I mean there are many more, but um yeah. The ones that actually look cool and some that not so much. And also I'll leave a link in the description not a link, um, I'll leave the command in the description so that you can see what it is. Okay, so let's begin. First up, we got flames. So as you can see, flames are fro floating around me, and as I walk, they follow, or technically they're on me. So you can have them run repeatedly if you have the command block set to repeat and need redstone, or if you just want it to, like, always be on, you have to set it to, um, always active so that it doesn't need redstone and then it will continuously spawn these particles forever so let's turn that off next up we got angry villager so yeah these are mostly the particles that when you hit a villager then it will show the same particles of particle effect so let me turn this on real quick so when you hit a villager I'm not sure if it's with the sword. Or... I'm not sure how this, um, how do you make them angry-ish works. Maybe you have to be in game mode survival? I'm not sure how you make them angry without attacking them, so I guess I'll put them out of his misery. Okay, game mode, creative mode, but you get the point. You get the point. That is supposed to be what it, the particle effects of an angry villager. So, let's move on. So, now we got barriers. Yeah, this one is a very interesting one. I did not think that this was a thing, but apparently these are mostly just fake barrier blocks. That That is a particle trap. I literally did not think at first that this was a particle trap, but... I think it's best if you run this yourself to do this in um F5 mode because literally if I do it in first person it's like I can't see if I stop moving. Look, it blocks my vision like I'm legally blind. So yeah, this that one's an interesting one, I'll tell you that. Okay. Next up we got is bubbles. Yeah, this one's sort of a lame one but but yeah, this is what it kind of would look like with different stuff under the sea. Okay, so now we got clouds. Or I assume these are cloud particles, like not like those actual clouds. They don't make those kind of particles, but I mean, you get the point. Okay, so. So now we got dolphin. So yeah, it makes these tiny little water droplet effects. I assume I assume that these come from the dolphins as they swim around, so I don't know. I've never seen like a dolphin have these particle effects around. I mean I have seen the dolphins in the Minecraft, but I'm not sure if I saw them with the particles. Anyway, let's move on. Now we've got dragon's breath. So these are the particles that when an ender dragon spits fire, it'll make a whole cloud of these purple particle effects on the ground, which actually damage you. 
Okay, so let's turn that off. Next up, we got ambient entity effects, and I put whatever that means. I actually don't know what that means, but apparently, it's mostly particle. It's mostly particle effects of like potions. I assume this must be an is invisibility potion, cause, cause I don't think there are like any other potions that have these particles like this transparent or almost invisible. So. I guess we'll turn that off. Now we got crit. And which spawns in these little stars. Right here. And next up we got Elder Guardian. In which you guys know how like. When you get near a sea temple. And if there's an Elder Guardian around then. Then when you get this thing. Sorry. When you get this effect on your screen. That's when you get affected with mining fatigue if what you don't know is that i wonder if i can give myself mining fatigue right now to show you we'll do it for 10 seconds and then five so mining fatigue is that you mine really really slow so that when i break a grass block it's it's very slow, so, yeah, it makes it difficult to actually fight and also mine stuff underwater. So, yeah, those things are usually very annoying in the sea temples underwater. So, yeah, that's the Elder Guardian one. And now we've got Enchant. Like, these part of... Uh, let me get into Game of Creative. Yeah, these... These particle effects are what you see when you, um, get an enchanting table. Yeah, because enchanting tables give off that same particle effect when you, like, enchant stuff with it. Next up, we got Enrod. So, yeah, these particles come from, like, the light... Come from these... End rods that you kind of find in the end. I think if you put it like as two full size blocks, one right side up and one upside down, it creates these particle effects. So, yeah, these are mostly like the light source that you find in the end, or mostly the I think the end temples after you defeat the ender dragon, I believe. Okay, now we got Happy Villager. Yeah, these particle effects is when is what you get when you um happily trade with do a successful trade with a villager. So if I can find that villager guy again, I want to see what he wants to trade. Ha, okay, show you. Ha, ha. Okay, where's the run? Ha, ha. So yeah, as you can see right o I think I think if you do like every single trait every single trait that this villager has to offer then then he'll get these particle effects around him which will make him a happy villager. Okay, now you guys you must die. I'm sorry, it's nothing personal, just can't have you ones roaming around. Include you too, little guy. Okay, there we go. So let's turn that off. And now we got hearts. Now mostly you would you would mostly see these type this type of effect like when you start breeding animals together, like um pigs with pigs and cows with cows, or sometimes when you like um tame a dog or a oh sorry, when you tame a wolf or an ocelot, you get the same thing. So, I will show you an example. I mean, you probably guys know that, but I'm going to show you anyway. So, when you do this, you get the same particle effects. Plus, plus when you feed them, like, steak or food, the type that they want, they'll actually get that same thing, too. So, I think I'm going to leave this guy here for now.
Okay, second to last one, we got portals. And this is from the nether portal, not the end portal. So yeah, this is literally the same particle effects as the front entrance right here. So yep, it's basically particle effects that you see when you go through a nether portal. And last but not least, we got lava. Yeah, these particle effects is mostly happens like I think occasionally, like when you see a pit of lava. So yeah, I think every now and then it just um it actually spawns in a little bit of that particle effect. Oh, you see? I mean, I think if there was bigger lava. A bigger it will have a better chance of spawning more of those particles. Yeah, it doesn't happen too often, but usually you would see those kind of particles from lava in like ca caves or caverns, mostly like that. So yeah, that is pretty much all of the particle effects that I had to show you that I picked out. So now. I'm going to show you how to have them spawn in a specific location, so be back in a sec. Six and a half hours later. Guys, so what we want to do is have the particles spawn right on this diamond block right here. So first, what you want to do is actually get the coordinates for where the block is at. So in my case, it's negative 288. Four and 177 so after we do that we'll come over to the command block and I'm gonna type the command so so it's slash execute and then we'll do at and then we'll put my you can put your username in here and then we do run particle and then we do the the particle that we want so I say we're gonna do hmm. let's see I think this time we'll do slime and then we'll put in the coordinates And then we just type in the numbers for like the amp, the force of the particles. And then press done. Okay, so hopefully when we pull this lever and then we get slime effects in that particular spot and again if you wanted to just run on run forever then just have it on repeat make sure the command block set to repeat and also make sure it's from need to redstone into always active so that it runs forever like this so yeah that is pretty much how you do particle commands in minecraft of how you do it on yourself and have it in a specific location and that is gonna wrap up for today's video if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more command block tutorials like this make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss a video apart from that guys thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you all in the next one goodbye